Hey everybody, this is yours truly coming back at you from the channel I Am Toys, and this is gonna be a kind of re-review. But before we, we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you watch my videos and you still don't subscribe, subscribe, damn it, <laughs> it helps the videos. And like the video because it helps the algorithm, you know, as always. So, and also hit the 4K option because that is a option on the settings. So if you wanna see this and you know how it was originally shot, you know, do what you got to do. Um, so again, yeah, this is going to be a re-review re to an extent. Um, some of you that are in the custom hobby are going to know who Kjun Artwork is. And those of you who are not in the custom hobby, just collect 1-6, probably also are aware of this guy. Because he's, his work is often posted a lot in a lot of the groups. Whether it's, uh, you know, 1-6 Republic or 1-6 Society or, you know, or whatnot. Or some of the custom groups, you know, everybody has probably heard of this guy. And he did the Fear and Loathing set. A while back, it was a double set. I think he had some solos as well. If you got this uh, double set, you got basically two different versions of Raul Duke, uh, you know, Johnny Depp's character, and you got different accessories and whatnot. And accessories, that is the main focus, honestly, of, of this review. And I'm glad I'm doing a revisit because I really didn't do the piece, these, these pieces justice last time. I had the outfits were a hot mess, man, <laughs> or at least on one of them. I don't know what I was thinking. So that video has been deleted. <laughs> it's no longer accessible. And uh, this is going to replace it. So um, where was I going with this? Yeah, uh, anyway, but it's going to be a relook at the figures. But the accessory set, man, this guy, Andy uh, Maniloff, uh, he goes by Doggy Doc Designs. He does uh, one six scale custom accessories. Dude, the set that he put out, this is one of the ultimate accessory sets I have ever seen in my life. The only other accessory set that I would say would rival this is the Beto Metalli Friday the 13th Part 6, or I'm sorry, Part 3 Jason that he did. Um, that by far, I think, probably rivals it. And if you have, I mean, specifically from Beto, that came with a lot of stuff. But if you have the barn uh, diorama as well, then, ooh, man, uh, again, that's a whole package. But technically, the diorama came separately from another custom uh, figure uh, or a diorama artist, per se. But if you have all that, that is the um, highest magnitude or, or that is the grail, honestly. It's one of the best accessory sets I've ever seen in a 1.6 custom set. Uh, but for this, who man, this rivals it, dude, for sure. Um, and the amount of work and how tedious it must have been to kind of make some of this stuff, absolutely amazing. And the accessory set that he made for the for this Fear and Loathing set was the one and only and none other than the the meticulous and famous drug case <laughs> that you that you have in the film. And I'm not going to waste any more time talking. Let's just get into it and let me show you the drug case and the contents and everything that comes in it and we'll talk about the film a little bit. We'll show the figures and obviously some of the figures also have some of the accessories already on them because you got to be able to show some of these things off. So let's get into it. So these are both of the figures that you got with this set. As you can see, it's numbered out of 16 as far as the DX sets. I've been looking for this set. I was looking for this set for a very long time, you know, many years ago. It's one of my favorite movies. I love Hunter Thompson. I've read some of his books. And um, the guy is just very eccentric. And, and those of you who have seen some of his films, especially Fear and Loathing, you know, they're essentially kind of based on, <laughs> on his life to an extent. And, uh, you know, as far as the case, let's just get up on that now. And I don't know if you guys remember the, uh, the famous um, line, but, um, you know, he says that, you know, the bag of drugs is also another form of capitalist success and greed implied in the American dream. And it includes, among other things, two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, and a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, and laughers. <laughs> and uh, he goes on to talk about, um, you know, some other stuff that you got in there. I mean, there's ether, um, there's freaking mezcal, dude. There's, uh, you know, various alcohol that he had in there. Um, and those of you who uh, remember, you know, the film where this case was in there at times, you know, it was, it was hilarious. I mean, there was a scene where, you know, he's, he's walking down the hallway and, the, and, there, and that case, drug case is like wide open. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's walking down the hotel, of a, uh, the hallway of a hotel and the drug case is open and, he, and him and uh, uh, Gonzo, um, Dr. Gonzo <laughs> are, you know, completely whacked out of their minds and the case is completely open and they're just walking down, uh, the, running down the hallway. It was just bananas, man. 
and uh, it was just really good. It's just a really good film, and as you can see, you can see some of these same elements in there. You see the bottle ether, the um, multiple bottles of these uppers and downers, you know, the salt shaker there uh, that's full of cocaine. Um, you know, the, the hookah uh, there as well. Uh, it's just awesome, you know, the bags of pot, uh, the, uh, uh, the blotter acid, I'm assuming is rolled in here somewhere. There's just so much stuff in here. Uh, it's just really awesome and like I said this is one of the best one six scale accessory sets that I've ever seen um, and you, uh, you get a you get the, this the, the case that it came in or, or the tin rather is really awesome this is fantastic this is all done by Andy uh, you get an awesome COA with this I was bugging him a while back I'm like uh, Andy I'm like you gotta start putting COAs with your stuff man <laughs> you do a lot of awesome work dude you gotta throw in your your uh, your COA and your mark man and uh, so this is cool. He, he a really badass COA, uh, really creative. And man, just, just look at this case, dude. Um, and this is what it looks like closed. It's very accurate to the film. Um, and I think he started working on this about maybe two years ago, maybe two or three years ago. It's been a while. And uh, we, he's been working on this along with other things. And he, he finished them and he's shipping them out. And a lot of people are gonna be receiving them over the next few days. And as you can see on both of the figures, I have some of the accessories, the extra stuff. So not only did he give you the drug case, guys, um, if you look inside the case, he also did the adrenochrome bottle. It says, drink me on it. And uh, it actually has a little bit of the fluid inside of it, the, the, the way it's done. And I'll show you that right here. And that's really cool. And he gives you the, uh, the handgun uh, where, you know, Raul Duke's out in the... Uh, desert and he's shooting it but he gets it from gonzo i think at one point in the hotel room and you get the light bulb here as you can see you get the uh his recorder which is awesome and the, the strap around the shoulder is pretty accurate to the film as well really really cool stuff and then when you see over here in the jacket you get you get the uh his notepad the pen i put the pen in the pocket uh right there so you know it looks like lined up with the stain in his pocket which is accurate to the film okay john um, you know, had the outfit done by Yunsel, who is a, a very well-known custom tailor out in, uh, out in China, or not in China, Korea, I'm sorry, and uh, South Korea to be specific, and they did an awesome job on everything, they, they, they really did. And this is just, it's just killer, it's just amazing. I mean, not only did he do the drug case, drug, ca drug case, <laughs> he gave you all this other stuff too, really, really cool. And it just makes the figure. I mean, you have so many different um, accessories now, uh, posing opportunities that you can nail with this. And just look at these figures, guys. I mean, with this setup, I did, this is the one of the grail setups right here. I mean, anyone that owns one of these 15 sets and also has this drug case now is, I mean, you, you've got one of the best one six scale pieces of art um, that exists on the planet. You know, the, the 15 of us that own this thing, are luckier than hell man um, and i've had a lot of people um, make offers on this and there's a few people that if i were to ever sell it i have to hit them up in order <laughs> i know i have to do that uh, but this set this is not going anywhere man um, this will be passed on to my kids or uh, will go into the grave with me <laughs> so it's just really cool uh, so hopefully I showed you guys enough of, of this and uh, you know as we just look at the figures more I mean, it's just so awesome guys. Just so awesome and I, 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 I'm speechless every time I look at it in the display case, you know, and I have it set up generally just like this um, You know things might be moved a little bit differently, but it's uh, it's just magnificent I mean, this is one of K. Jun's best art pieces that he has ever done or coordinated with you know as far as Yuntol and other uh, artists, because I think Robbie Jones also made a few accessories uh, for the original set when it came out. But this is just a dynamite set, guys. Absolutely amazing. So that's it. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just wanted to show you a quick look at this and kind of do these pieces justice, because I definitely didn't do them justice last time. <laughs> and uh, the clothes are properly, you know, uh, futzed, we'll say this time around. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was just a quick little look at everything. Andy, you're the friggin' man. I've got a few custom uh, 
uh, commissions that I think I'm gonna be hitting you up with at some point uh, to rec recreate for me. One is something that I lost, <laughs> so I need you to recreate it for me. And then another one is actually some additional accessories to this set that I'm, I'm hoping I can get you to make for me. Uh, because uh, I, I just, there's a, a look that I like with both of these figures, but it stinks that I can only accomplish one um, because there's obviously only one of each accessory that comes with it. And um, I'm not gonna tell you guys when I'm talking about it. <laughs> but anyway, Andy, I'm gonna be hitting you up at some point for that. But tremendous work by everyone, man. KJ and Andy, Doggy Doc Designs, which is Andy. Uh, amazing work, amazing sets. Uh, again, this is the grail set uh, for, for anyone um, that owns this and is a Hunter Thompson fan, especially someone like myself. <laughs> so you guys know me, you know what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be watching this movie. Um, you know, tonight I'm gonna have all this stuff out and it's gonna be glorious, glorious. <laughs> all right, guys, peace.